Hello there, world of tankers. Welcome to the channel. I'm your host, Drudels Blitz, and in today's video, I'll be playing in the Tier 8 British Premium Medium, the Vickers MBT, a vehicle which I am quite excited to play in. And that's because this is what I would consider to be one of the best and might even possibly most overpowered tier 8 that Wargaming has released in a while since the T-77. Why? Well, think of a medium tank, but with a turret that is as strong as a Concept 1B. Think of really good alpha, mobility, even solid DPM, all combined into this one package. Well, that's exactly what the Vickers MBT appears to be on its base statistics. In today's video, I'll be telling you everything you're going to want to know about this tank. You will also notice I'm on my main account, and that's because I really wanted to pick this up on my main account. So, uh, yeah, I spent 45,000 gold to get my hands on this tank. Was it worth 45,000 gold? We're going to find out. It is available in crates. And the crates are quite expensive. They are, yeah, 10,000 gold for five. I think I spent 17,000 gold for 10. Essentially, it's going to be around 40,000 gold if you want to get it guaranteed with charms. So with double gold bundles, about 50 bucks. Is this tank worth 50 bucks? Well, we're going to find out. Let's start off by fully equipping the vehicle with our double food and fuel. We are going to swap our speed with a repair kit. And over in the ammo loadout, we're going to do 12 high explosive 12 heat and ooh, that's an uneven number whatever we'll do 41 standard and to finish off let's unlock all of the equipment running calibrated shells you have 280 mils of pen which is really good and even 200 on the standard we have 0.285 dispersion running refined gun we're going to be doing defense system improved assembly and toolbox to finish off we have engine accelerator high-end consumables and we're going to be running view range so the first thing that we should take a look at when it comes to this vehicle is the armor as I mentioned, this thing has really good armor. And we can see that here. Look at the upper plate. It's 260 millimeters thick. This is a medium, keep in mind. A medium with 260 millimeters of upper plate armor. That means if you are using the gun depression the vehicle has, which if I'm not mistaken is 10 degrees, basically you're not going to pen that upper plate. It's upwards of 320 uh, against a HE or heat, it's going to be 340. That's insane. If you're using gun depression, you're not going to be pent. Now, the turret does have some weak spots, 230 mils thick. Underneath the gun mantlet, there's some spots that are about 230 as well. However, the mantlet itself is about 270 to 300. Uh, so you're going to have to load gold to really cut through that. The turret cheeks, yes, you read that right, 386, 324, uh, this part, 320. So it does have a hatch, and the hatch is a weak spot. We can see that this whole hatch is a weakness. However, the upper plate and the turret is absolutely insane in terms of its protection. It doesn't even have bad side armors, we can see. Like, this is a medium, and yet that's the level of side armor this thing's able to get. That's, uh, that's pretty dang stupid. So, in general... It's basically a heavy tank that has a medium tank's mobility. And by the way, it's really fast. Has a power to weight of 20 and a top speed of 57, making this quicker than most mediums that are in the game. And when you pair that, it's also 8 degrees, I should say, not 10 degrees of gun depression. But when you, you pair that with the 320 damage per shot and the decent DPM of 2000, essentially, you're in a medium tank, which has the damage output and armor of a heavy and the mobility of almost a light tank with the top speed being close to 60. This is an insane tank and I have a feeling it's going to be one of the most powerful tier 8s in the battlefield. So that is why in today's video I am going to be fully reviewing it, letting you know my personal feelings. When it comes to the crates, it's really down to whether you want to spend enough money to get it guaranteed or not. With charms, as I mentioned, you can get the vehicle for around 40,000 gold, which is equivalent to... Now, you will get gold back, to be fair. So, you're probably going to be looking more like 30,000 gold, which is equivalent to 15,000 gold if you get a double gold bundle, which is always available in the store, especially if you uh, wait a little bit for Black Friday or for Christmas. There's usually pretty good deals and discounts. With that being said, it means that for something like the Vickers MBT, you're going to be looking, as I said, around before 50-ish US dollars to get it guaranteed uh, if you did purchase it with a double gold bundle. It's not cheap. 
but it's not awful for a brand new tank either. It's what I would expect. Alrighty, here we are, game number one. Up against us, we have a Chieftain Defender. Well, we only really care about the medium, so it's a 122 TM and a Defender Mark One. Okay, I mean, we shouldn't have to worry too much in this tank, because with the gun depression and the turret armor it features, it's going to be nearly impossible to be penned when using gun depression. So we're just going to chill here. Uh, with 320 damage per shot, it means that we should be able to out-trade our opponents quite easily. And that defender is... Well, he's chilling pretty aggressive right now. There you go. Nice 340 damage shell straight into his tank. Well, I'm going to stay a little passive still. I don't know exactly what was going on, but I'll move up a little bit. Let's see. We have the... Uh, WZ-122TM, and easy shell right into his lower plate. The uh, t 2064 is not having the most enjoyable of experiences ever. We're naming on the 122. Nice shot. Now, we do have that weak hatch, but as you can see, that 122 ends up missing the hatch, which puts me in a pretty good spot. And because we have a little bit less damage per shot, we also out-reload that 122TM, getting another easy shell ourselves right on in. So just like that, we are at a pretty good amount of damage. Also, really? We're being shot on this side. Interesting. All right, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to support my Super Purging. We're going to move over here. And we're going to move right on to the side of this player. There you go. Easy clear. And it looks like that defender ran away. In fact, it might have actually been the defender that shot me. I think he went under the bridge and bailed. Because there's nowhere else that player would have been able to go. So that's definitely where we got shot from. The defender just bailed. To be fair, I don't blame him. I would have bailed too if my team sucked. But yeah, that's what happened. So we are going to head right behind this chieftain. Get a nice 304. What's so nice about this tank is that... With the gun depression, you are just super, super flexible on any ridgeline you play. And the damage per minute is not bad. Like, it's definitely not, you know, anything insane, but it's not bad either. So we get a bounce from the Chieftain, and we get a pen right into him. Now we're going to move up, and he does pen me once. I'm not worried about the Chieftain, I'm worried about the Borsig. I don't know where that Borsig is, so I'm, I'm being a little cautious about it. But we can see his tank, so at this point we are completely fine. And we're going to make our way right to the side of the Borsig. Now again, this is where that gun depression and turret armor just feel so good, because I can sit here, and this player really can't do anything to me. He's just probably worried, and, well, he kills my teammate in the uh, Super Persian, but we're already up to 3,000 damage, which is pretty good. And the Borsig gets shot. See ya! Easy clear. Well, there's only two tanks left on their team. The WZ-110 and the Quetzal. So we're going to get right to the rear of the Quetzal. Easy shell to the side for 340. Uh, yeah, we're not going to ram that tank. While it may be one of the most useless tier 8s in the game, it does actually feature pretty good weight. It's, uh, it's quite the hefty vehicular. So because of that, it's actually probably not the best tank to ram. Uh, we're just going to aim it on this lower plate. There you go, 307. We're up to 4,200 damage already. This guy doesn't even know where to pen me. Yeah, he hatches me, but that's the literally only weak spot that you can hit on this tank is the hatch. That's it. The turret is so incredibly well armored. The upper plate is so incredibly well armored that you're just going to really struggle to cut through it, especially again on a ridgeline. I mean, this thing really enjoyable so far. 4,400 damage dealt, we killed four tanks, we aced the vehicle, and that netted us over 200,000 credits. So a pretty solid first game for the vehicle. Basically everything that I presumed before playing it seems to be the case. It has great mobility, it has a pretty accurate gun with great penetration, good damage per shot, the DPM didn't feel bad at all, the tank feels great. So let's do one more game and see if the Vickers MBT uh, can continue doing just as well. Here we are, one more battle. Another one which we should do pretty good on because this is Normandy, a map which requires gun depression to do pretty well on. Honestly, kind of disappointed this isn't a tier 10. I think this would have been such a good tier 10 if it had maybe 380 damage per shot, had gun depression like it does, and honestly, even the armor could have stayed the same. 
would have been a really, really good tier 10 uh, kind of intermediate heavy medium. But I'm not going to complain because it's still a fun tank to use. It's got a solid gun. It's got everything that I would want. So we spot the enemy M4. Yo. Mm, okay. Well, our Astron is getting absolutely beamed on. And he's probably going to get penned again. But we'll see what happens here. They have a Yo in their spawn. Where's the rest of their team? That's what I want to know. Where's the rest of their team? Huh. Yeah, we're spotted again, but again, where's their team? Where's their team? Well, uh, what I can tell you is that I'm going to wait for this Vickers to poke, and when he does... There you go, 325 damage right into his tank. Ah, there they are, camping in their spawn. What a surprise. All right, well, let's see if we can get any damage into the Vipira aiming. And we can see... What? What was that? Wow. You want to talk about bad RNG? That right there is the definition of bad RNG. Well, we're going to aim in a high explosive on the rear of the FE-201, which is pretty good. Not a bad roll at all. 400 damage, and we reload again. We have the Vipira, which we get a nice shell into. The SU-152 on their team fires a high explosive at me, but doesn't really do all that much i mean if we win this on base cap i'm gonna be really disappointed because i don't want to win this game on base cap i don't think any of us do but we're gonna find out is that fe 201 gonna do anything is he just gonna sit there oh i think he's just gonna oh wait nope I... oh there you go finally he makes the play and we get a pretty easy shell out into him okay well 70 on the base cap now it's not going too well for the uh, for the enemy. We're naming on the Yag Panther, 290 damage, and look at that. The turret armor doing exactly what it needs to. Can we stop capping the base, please? Like, please stop capping the base. I'm just gonna drive right over. Ah. Okay, good. The base capture got reset. That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. Uh, if our team was just gonna sit there and keep capping the base, I was gonna I was gonna get a little bit disappointed. Not gonna lie. Well. Okay, we get hatched. That one does not. Oh well. I mean, our armor's not doing exactly what I'd like it to, but there's not much I can do about that. And there you go. He misses the shot. He's going to back up, which gives me the opportunity to miss his lower plate. An easy shell on the lower plate as well. Wow. His gun is really not treating me well right now. Um, hmm. Okay. Well, let's see. I mean, we have less health than this guy and that's not entirely good we track him come on game give me a pen here just one single pen that's all i need like bruh well he bounces me which is pretty good actually okay we can see the armor is really troll like even going up against this tank it's a rat to go up against it really is and because of that, it's making it really annoying for both of us to fight each other. Now, at the end of the day, even if I do die here, it doesn't really matter too much to me because uh, I have brought him down to 97 health. This game was a bit more uh, irritating just because of the fact we had a couple shots which could have hit him but didn't. It's a great example, though, the armor. That armor is quite strong and obviously allows the vehicle to be pretty dang good when you know what you're doing so we are going to win this game so i can't really get all too mad don't worry our vk45 has decided to continue capping the base it is pretty impressive to me that's all that player's done but our astron misses the first shot will he bend the second one yes he does there you go a pretty solid win we did i think 2600 damage so not a bad battle. Could have been a little better. Um, as I said, if that one shell we had fired hit the lower plate, or the one we had fired at the hatch it hit, that Vickers would have died. We also shot one at the track wheel, which didn't pen, so we had a couple goofy shells, but pretty good game. And if you average the first one in, we still easily went over 3,500. So what do I think about the Vickers MBT? Well, it's everything I expected it to be. Just from looking at that enemy Vickers, we saw how good the armor is when using gun depression. And while that hatch is a weak spot when using the gun depression, it's pretty dang hard to hit. I honestly think that this is a rather overpowered medium. It's probably the best medium in tier 8 right now. That's what I'll say. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Do you agree? Do you disagree? But this thing's a beast. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty strong. I just can't believe we bounced the flat side of that SMV with that one gel. 
as we know, my RNG always sucks. No matter what I do, it's always going to rob me from fun. But we had a good game, and I can't get too mad. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye!